This channel sucks. Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick video talking about what I wish to do with the channel going forward. Um, and I think I just realized one of my biggest problems when it comes to YouTube, and that's just that I am really fucking negative. Like, really negative. All the goddamn time. I... I've made it no secret that I have depression among, like, other mental issues, and I'm sure the way I am on my channel sometimes bums a lot of people out, and that's probably one of the reasons I'm a viewer repellent. Now, you might be wondering how the hell I came to this conclusion. Well, it has a little something to do with a little YouTube channel called Boogie2988. You might have heard of him. A documentary came out recently and uh, sh definitely shed some light on things, to say the least. Now, this is a YouTuber I've been watching for a while. Uh, not as long as maybe some other people, but, you know, a little while. And I've been watching his slow descent into madness, and it's pretty sad to watch, honestly. Uh, it... Things have been fucking rough for him, to say the fucking least. Like, it, it's pretty bad. And his viewership has declined like a motherfucker. Like, he is just barely scraping by at this point. But one of the biggest things I noticed, and what a lot of other people noticed, is just how negative he started to become over time due to just various things. And some people have even gone as far as to call him a bad person. Now, I personally don't necessarily think he's a bad person, just kinda misunderstood. Yeah, he's definitely made a lot of really shitty decisions, but, uh, so have I. Like, <laughs> oh, oh boy, I've made some bad fucking decisions. I still make bad decisions. Uh, I think we all do. It's... We're only human, like, it... And it's also kind of creepy that he's with someone, like, almost, I don't know, what, 30 years younger than him? But, I mean, as long as they're both consenting adults, I honestly couldn't give two fucks. Uh, however they want to live their lives, that's up to them. It might be a little strange, but whatever. Whatever floats your fucking boat. I might catch you a little bit of flack for saying that, but I'm just telling it how it is. And his financial situation ain't too great either, which I can actually relate to because I... Long story short, I recently lost like two-thirds of my income and I'm just barely scraping by myself, so... That's great. Um, but I haven't wanted to talk about it on this channel because I just... I don't want to talk about shit like that anymore and get people down. I'm, I'm done with all that shit, like... Point is, in spite of everything, I want to try to be a little more positive on my channel. Because I know people don't like negativity and they don't want to hear some guy they don't know rant about their personal lives on the internet, okay? People come to YouTube to watch entertaining videos and forget about their own problems. So if they hear someone else talking about their own problems, it's just gonna remind them of their own problems, and it's gonna turn them away, and it's gonna make them not wanna watch that YouTuber anymore. We've seen this happen with Buggy2988, and I'm falling into the same goddamn trap before my channel's even kicked off. I mean, I have barely any subscribers, I get like, maybe 20 views on average, like, it's pretty shit. And I'm probably to blame for that. And maybe YouTube on some small part, but mostly me. Like, yeah, I, I could do better, and I should do better. What I'm trying to say is, I just don't want to bring anybody down, you know? Like, I make videos to entertain people. That that's That's what it is at the end of the day, that's all that matters at the end of the day. It's just entertaining people, whether it be five people, or ten people, or twenty people. It, it doesn't matter. As long as I'm making someone's day better, that, that makes it all worth it, you know? Point is, I just don't want to worry about any of it anymore. Like, I'm, I'm done. 
You know, I'm, I'm seeing a counselor again. I'm trying to get myself in a more positive mindset. You know, I just, I just want to cast out the fucking demons, not worry about any of this bullshit anymore, and just make people happy. You know, I, I started posting on my, you know, former Jordan Underneath Archive channel again, repurposing it as, like, kind of a channel inspired by his content, and hopes that maybe I would get more views. I mean, you know, I also want to entertain the fellow Jordan fans, but part of it was also because I thought maybe I'd get more views, which I uh, slightly, but at the same time, not really, not to where, like, I would have wanted to be, but, you know, my content's still entertaining people, you know, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm still making people laugh and smile and entertaining them and making their day better and you know that's that's great i love that I, I i love that i can like if i can make a difference in anyone's lives again whether it be like 5 10 20 people that's good you know i'm i'm serving my purpose i'm doing what i set out to do and good you know great that's that's a that's a wonderful thing and whether the people at youtube decide they want to recommend my videos or not fuck it i don't give a shit anymore who needs you i don't fucking need you okay and you ain't you ain't gonna take this smile off my face not anymore okay this this smile right here i'm keeping this okay even if it may or may not be fake fake it till you make it i say but anyway, this is the guff, uh, Xander Rose signing out. Have a good one. I'm gonna cut a jig. <laughs>